Our models tried to estimate this impact uh, by scaling it in terms of dollars. We, we uh, tried to estimate by to what extent would, say, a $5,000 per year income transfer every year between the prenatal year and age five uh, affect these various uh, adult outcomes. Uh, it turns out that if you uh, actually look at national numbers, uh, it would take about $4,300 per year uh, for every poor child to bring that poor child's family income up to the poverty line. So that's the kind of metric uh, that we're using here. It's an income transfer of $4,300 per year for this period between the prenatal year and age five. And the question is, what would be the benefits of such a transfer? Um, of all the outcomes, uh, it turns out that two of the outcomes uh, passed our statistical tests and could indeed be linked to early poverty. Uh, adult earnings, uh, as well as adult mental health. So let me give you uh, an idea of what the magnitude of the, uh, the earnings relationship is. Um, we estimate that uh, eliminating poverty in early childhood, so in other words, providing this $4,300 transfer per year, every year between the prenatal year and age five, uh, would boost lifetime earnings measured over this 25 to 34 year period by 12% per year. Okay, I'll do a translation into dollars. Well, here it is. So if you uh, take what the actual uh, earnings level is, um, adjust for inflation, discount back to age 25 with a real interest rate of uh, 3%, um, if that 12% increment held for the 10 years that it seems to hold for between ages 25 and uh, 34, you get a lifetime earnings increase of $20,000 from eliminating early childhood poverty. Uh, if you assume that it lasts for 30 years, and now the discounting uh, tends to discount pretty heavily uh, once you get out 20 to 30 years uh, from age 25, uh, it adds up to a lifetime benefit of about $48,000 per child, all right? $20,000 for 10 years, $48,000 for, uh, for 30 years. Um, if you ask what does that add up to, that's per child. Uh, if you ask what does that add up to in a more macro sense, uh, if you look at the national numbers, there are about uh, 366,000 adults of any age, let's say, age 25 adults now uh, who spent uh, their early childhoods in poverty. Um, so for today's 25-year-olds, uh, eliminating that poverty uh, would amount to about uh, 7.6 billion and 17.6 billion dollars of additional GNP, if you believe these numbers. Uh, that's for just a single year cohort. If you take, say, 10 years uh, uh, of births, uh, the 25 to 34 year olds, you get 10 times those numbers. So eliminating childhood poverty uh, for today's 25 to 34 year olds who were poor in early childhood uh, would add uh, between 76 billion and 176 billion to, uh, to the national economy. Uh, I mentioned there were also health benefits in addition to these earnings benefits. Um, there was a measure of uh, psychological distress, uh, which was reduced substantially, although the, uh, the incidence of psychological distress uh, was relatively rare. So the aggregate benefit uh, is really an order of magnitude less than it is for earnings, which was an average for, for all uh, low-income uh, kids in early childhood. Um, and there the figures uh, are only about 100 million only uh, versus about a, a billion dollars. Uh, depending on whether you're just taking a single year of uh, kids or 10 years worth of kids. If you think about this in a benefit-cost uh, kind of framework, um, we've heard a lot about the 17 to 1, uh, the 10 to 1. I, I think it's important to point out that those apply to uh, a very small number of very intensive model programs and aren't uh, likely to be the kind of return that we'd actually get from uh, programs like universal pre-K and peri preschool, I'm sorry, uh, and uh, Head Start programs. Um, but what we really want to show is uh, uh, a ratio that exceeds one. If you have a proper kind of accounting of costs, uh, 
uh, including all the opportunity costs of tying up money in those programs. Uh, profitability is a ratio that's greater than one. Uh, if you try to put this uh, income transfer kind of uh, program into those accounting terms um, and succumb to the tr cruel truth of discounting, um, with early childhood programs, you're basically dealing with expenditures up front and benefits that come 20 years later, 30 years later. So, uh, so it's a pretty strict test if you allow for uh, any degree of discounting at all. This $4,326 per year for seven years, if you reverse discount up to 25, age 25, uh, amounts to about $70,000 per person. Uh, and then these earnings and mental health uh, benefits uh, that I mentioned uh, range from about $20,000 to $48,000. So uh, a benefit that doesn't exceed the cost, uh, but I uh, hasten to add that there are elements of potential benefits that we haven't measured in the study. Uh, we haven't measured anything beyond um, uh, the early 30s. Um, and in addition, there are a host of other kinds of arguments that people might make, the moral kinds of arguments uh, for eliminating childhood poverty as well. Here's my uh, email address if anyone uh, would like a copy of the study or uh, want to follow on with any, uh, uh, any sort of communication. Thank you very much.